there's a person who grew up in the opposition, the MTC in particular. And when I joined MTC, there were things that had attracted me, the hope and promise of a better institution than ZANU-PF, which was going to deliver uh, the kind of change and the kind of uh, governance, uh, governance culture that would bring a transformation in this country. In my humble view, ever since uh, President uh, Tsongirai's demise, the opposition formations in all their variants actually totally disintegrated and really are shells of what they used to be. Uh, in my humble opinion, they have uh, no substance to offer. They cannot stand and uh, pretend uh, before people with any common sense that uh, they can actually do anything uh, in, in, in a much, much better way than ZANPF. But on the other hand, we are seeing ZANU-PF, which uh, after their loss in 2008, uh, consolidated uh, their, 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 their governance uh, structures. They seem to have done a lot of introspection, because if you look at this current ZANU-PF, it's not the violent ZANU-PF that we were exposed to when we were in the opposition uh, at the turn of the millennium. Uh, it says zanu PF whose agenda stays firmly, firmly on, on, on development. I mean, from the start of the address to the finish, the common theme is about development and uh, resting issues on our hands as Zimbabweans, something that you don't find in the opposition formations. There still is that cry for powers elsewhere to change things for us, to assist us to do certain things, which is not possible. It has never worked.